Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's so great to see you and welcome back. Today, I'm going to be performing an experiment that I have been thinking about for years. I should be wearing my lab coat. I'll wear it in the second part of this video, but I'm going to be making fizzy fruits or carbonated fruits. I first learned about this from Chef Steps. I'll put a link down below to their original video. The process is very simple. You take dry ice, which is carbon dioxide gas that's in a solid state. It is at negative 220 degrees Fahrenheit, I believe. Very, very cold. It's used oftentimes to ship things frozen. And I received a package with dry ice in it. And I knew that this was my opportunity to make carbonated fruit. Back to the explanation. You take your dry ice, which is carbon dioxide in its solid form, and it is sublimating. That means it's heating up and going directly into its gaseous state, turning into CO2 gas. You just take your sublimating dry ice, put it next to some fruit that contains water, seal it up, and 12 hours later, you should have fizzy fruit. What happens is your carbon dioxide gas is going to be forced into the fruit creating little bubbles of CO2, just like you would find in fizzy or carbonated sodas or water. So I wanna do this experiment for two reasons. Number one being, will it work? Number two, I just want the experience of having a piece of carbonated fruit, particularly a grape. I want a grape that's fizzy. <laughs> So Grant says in the Chef Steps video that the carbonation is temporary. It only lasts for about 30 minutes once you've unsealed the whole thing. So I love that kind of temporal, ephemeral idea of carbonation as well. So enough to chat, let's go ahead and do this. So to conduct my experiment, I'm gonna be using this cooler. This is the smallest cooler I own and we want to trap as much gas as possible. And this one has the tightest seal. I've got some grapes. I've got red, green, and black grapes. It's important not to touch dry ice with your bare hands. It can burn you, it's so cold. Ooh, look at that, it's so stinking rad. I've got a couple big hunks, and now I'm gonna place it inside my cooler. And I'm going to take a napkin or a towel and then place that over the dry ice. Now we're just gonna take our fruit, place it into the cooler along with the dry ice. In go the grapes. More grapes, this time green grapes. Beautiful black grapes. I'm also gonna add some citrus in there as well. I'm gonna add some mandarins. And I saw Grant just place them with a the peel on, but does the gas actually make it through the peel? I don't know, I'm kind of a skeptical. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel a couple of them as well. So tangerines are relatively thin skin, so I'm also gonna include a navel orange in there as well, which have a nice thick rind. So we'll see if this gets fizzy. Place that in there too. Here's the fruit. Now we're going to just seal this up. To seal in as much gas as possible, we're gonna wrap this in plastic wrap. This is not sealing like I want to seal. The trouble is real, y'all. All right, why? I feel like it shouldn't be this hard, but it is. Why don't we just get rid of the box? Okay, finally we're getting someplace. <sighs> okay, okay. It really shouldn't be this difficult, but sometimes. 
items is. Now, okay, so honestly, plastic wrap, honestly, make me work with you. Make me work with you, right? We're in this together, right? Or something? <sighs> there we have it, our sealed cooler, and it's already kind of poofing up. We will check on this in 12 hours and see if we've got carbonated fruit. I, I don't see why this won't work, but you know, I've had failures in the past, but we're going to keep our fingers crossed that this is going to be carbonated in 12 hours. Okay. See you then. Bye. <laughs> it is now time to taste test this and see if indeed we've got carbonated fruit. Can't wait. Okay. Here it is. All right. First thing we need to do is unwrap this. Okay, here we go. There's the fruit. It's still cold in there. All right, let's see. There's the fruit. Still feels good. Oh, here it is. Alrighty. I'm just gonna taste it right out of the bucket. Here we go. Itadakimasu. <laughs> it's totally fizzy. The sensation is like a small little kind of tingle on your tongue. The grape is cool. It bursts like it normally does. It's not frozen, it's cool. And it is fizzy. <laughs> it's absolutely delightful. The size of the bubbles are very small and it's more like a tingling sensation. And to me, it almost tastes a little bit more acidic, a little bit sour, a little tingly. Let me try a red one. Hmm? And it does seem to heighten the flavor. It seems to be grapeier, a little bit more intense, but it's definitely a physical sensation and experience that you feel in your mouth. Let's try tangerine. Mm. Ooh, that's really busy. So one of the experiments was to see if the CO2 gas could cross the barrier that is the skin and if the fruit would be fizzy inside, even if it had the skin on. Let's find out. Yes! <laughs> Mmm, that's so good. Let's see if there's any dry ice left. Ooh, there's a little bit of dry ice left on the bottom. Oh, here is my orange. That was in the very back. Here we go. Orange. Yes. Oh, that's so much fun. I think orange might be my favorite. Tiny little bubbles in there. Great orange citrusy flavor. juicy and tingly. <laughs> so there you have it, my lovelies. That's how you make carbonated or fizzy fruit. It absolutely works. Totally delightful. So simple and so easy. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Let me know if there are any other science kitcheny experiments you'd like me to test out and try, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs>